Okay, a very quick ramble through some of the common um, exam questions and angles that people are looking at it from. So firstly, you have to know the um, bacteria that um, are carrying out these various processes. So remember, we've got um, nitrogen fixing, which is rhizobium in root nodules of leguminous plants. Most importantly, this produces ammonia. It's ammonia is the form that it's taken up by, by goes up through the plant and is used to make more plants and um, so on. So do remember it's ammonia, this does matter. Then we've got the ammonification. Now ammonification is the action of decomposing bacteria which are respiring uh, protein and nucleic acids and then are producing ammonia. So this is decomposing bacteria which are re respiring dead organic matter. Nitrifying bacteria, uh, the two are Nitrosomonas and Nitrobacter, and those remember are taking ammonia and turning it into nitrite and then into nitrate. Now both of these are aerobic bacteria, so they're favoured by ploughed drained soils. Then you have denitrifying bacteria, which are Pseudomonas denitrificans, and they thrive in anaerobic, that is, waterlogged, unploughed soils, where they're releasing the nitrogen gas, and that is uh, reducing the amount of nitrogen that's available for uh, the plants. Now, if you get questions about um, taking a crop, now remember the crop, be it milk from cows or um, wheat or taking, growing cows, taking away and shooting them, eating more cow, then whenever you're taking a crop, then you're removing nitrogen from an ecosystem. If you milk the cow and then throw the milk back onto the soil, then that milk, the protein in, that's contained in that milk will be decomposed and then turned back into the nitrates, which can go back through the plants and the ecosystem continues. However, when you take a crop, remember that the crop contains protein and nucleic acids which when they're removed from that ecosystem to go off to Waitrose or the farmer's market or wherever are then not available to be cycled. So anytime you get a question about crops the angle they're looking at from is that do you realize that the nitrogen is going into it that the protein is then being removed from the ecosystem and then over time if you continue to take a crop then you will be reducing the fertility of the soil because you are not replacing the nitrogen that's been taken up and used to make more plant now if you get questions that refer to a carnivorous plant such as sundew um, which you get in very sandy, waterlogged, nutrient-poor soils, then the angle that they're looking at here is that these plants derive a small amount of their nitrogen from um, capturing uh, dead animal matter, so insects, and then digesting them and absorbing nitrogen from those, so getting their amino acids, getting their nitrates, getting their ammonia from that dead animal matter. Now these can only grow um, successfully in a situation where the advantage of investing resources in the um, mechanisms for capturing these um, invertebrates is justified by the low availability of nitrates in the soil. So you only get these where the they won't be outcompeted by plants that will grow better through just getting nitrogen up from the soil. Any questions that you get on ploughing or drainage, that's um, looking at increasing the aerobicity of soils, reducing the growth of the anaerobic bacteria. By increasing the aerobicity, you're uh, increasing the action of the ammonifying, that is the decomposing bacteria, and also of the nitrifying bacteria, which are making the um, making nitrate. So, any questions you get on ploughing or draining, it's all about how do you favour um, and why is this a good thing? It's because you're increasing the amount of available nitrates for the plants. Any questions that you get refer to organic fertilisers. Organic fertilisers, remember, is 
just um, dead organic matter, plant matter, faeces that contains um, nitrogen in the form of a, a protein or ammonia or um, nucleic acids. These will, will then be broken down by nitrifying bacteria or decomposing bacteria in the soil and will all increase the availability of nitrates for the growth of the plants. Hope you've enjoyed uh, this lecture and uh, I'll try and make a few more. Thank you very much.